Welcome to a new episode of Science in Context. I'm Sabina, and this week, Dr. Jeff M. I. Eaton and Professor Lucy Kluwer join me to speak about the need to reauthorize PEPFAR. Jeff, what is PEPFAR? PEPFAR is the United States President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief. It was established in 2003 by the George W. Bush administration in an act of the U.S. Congress to provide treatment and prevention to address the massive burden of HIV in countries in Sub-Saharan Africa and other global regions. It's also the largest contributor to the Global Fund for HIV, TB, and Malaria. The program has subsequently been reauthorized three times and it currently supports HIV treatment for 20 million people living with HIV with an annual budget of around $7 billion. Lucy, can you explain some of the impacts the HIV epidemic has had? Since 1990, HIV has been spreading throughout Africa. It has killed to date 40 million people and left 14 million children living today, orphaned by HIV and AIDS. Jeff, what has PEPFAR achieved so far? PEPFAR really had an immediate and massive impact on reducing AIDS deaths and has contributed to steady declines in new HIV infections through the scale-up of treatment and other prevention. Up to 2022, the program has saved 25 million lives and the number of children born with HIV has reduced by over 80% since the program was implemented in 2005. Lucy, you recently published a letter in The Lancet Together urging the reauthorization of PEPFAR. What was your motivation? The loss of $7 billion a year of HIV funding will be devastating for children and adults in sub-Saharan Africa, with 20 million people's life-saving medication completely dependent on PEPFAR funding continuing. With colleagues Seth Flaxman, Mary Mahi, Lorraine Scher, Jeff and I, We felt that we couldn't stand by and let that happen. And we felt that we needed to produce the real science that can show why PEPFAR must be reauthorized. Thank you both so much for your time.